Hello everybody. Today I am going to go over uh, my song making process, kind of. Uh, I have no idea right now. Uh, kind of just going in. Uh, we're going to see how the process goes from start to finish. Um, I will say the idea behind the music for easy update was always kind of uh, to be more of a practice than an actual uh, production pipeline. So it was to encourage me to keep making music and like learn. Um, so I would not call myself an expert, uh, certainly not at Ableton. Um, I've been singing since I was about, uh, well, I don't know, a teenager, I guess. Um, and I took piano lessons as a kid. I can read music, sheet music, uh, but I mostly remember the treble clef, because <laughs> I played trumpet, so I don't remember the bass clef very well. Uh, yeah, but uh, so this is going to be less of a tutorial per se. Um, I'm using Ableton 10. I'm going to go over all my gear and everything. Um, this will be less of a tutorial and more of just kind of an exploration that we're going to go on together, and hopefully we're going to come out of it with a song. So we'll see what happens. Um, so here I'll show you all of my gear. All right, so starting with the brains of the operation, we've got this Dell XPS 15 running Ableton 10 here. Uh, that's you, you're beautiful. Uh, Omar just gave me this uh, pocket operator office for my birthday, so we'll see how that runs. I also have the arcade and the robot. That's a picture of me and my mom when I was a baby. Um, that's the OP-1 there. This is a nightmare of wires and a slipper. Uh, this is a box my dad and I made for the OP-1. That's my Korg Chaosolator, which I love. That is a Volca Beats over there. It's kind of a messy wires right there, but... Uh, this I use for triggering a lot of my... Uh, loops and stuff. This is the APC Key 25 by Akai Professional. This is a uh, drum pad sort of deal, which I use when I'm trying to do drums poorly. This is the MPD 218. This thing I love with all my heart. This is the Korg Mini Log. It's a poly voice, four voice polyphonic analog synthesizer, and it has all kinds of presets and everything. Oh, this thing is beautiful. This is uh, the mixer I use for now. It's a USB out um, mixer. It can go out through uh, left and right quarter inch too, but it does USB, uh, which is how I go into Ableton with these analog instruments. This is the Arturia Micro Brute. That's a hammered dulcimer. And this uh, is my keyboard. This is the Casio Privia 130. PX-130 uh, piano, yeah, and I built this table out of wood, which cost way more than I thought it would, thought it would. Um, I've recently added this sound proofing material and these cool lights, uh, and my mic that I use is the MXL 990 USB. Uh, I've had it forever, probably not the best mic in the universe, but I like it. All right, and that's a rundown of the equipment. So uh, what I usually do is I start with a piano. So we'll go to the instrument rack here, go to piano and keys, and we'll throw uh, this. This is one of the Ableton uh, built-in packs here. Uh, bright solo. There are a lot of different ways that I start with a song. Uh, sometimes I will... Uh, start by just playing some notes on the piano and uh, listening back, you know? So we can try that. But now I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's our newest toy? And our newest toy is the office. So let's take a look at this crazy little guy. So these things have all kinds of nutcase functionality. This one makes little office noises. You can play rhythms. 
Let's say we wanted to start with one of these little patterns. Whoa, that one's kind of cool. Ooh, I really like that one. Okay, I really like five. So in order to get the audio off of this pocket operator and into Ableton, I am going to need to run it through my little audio interface over here. So we're going to run this cord over here. And then we need to have an audio track. All right, so let's set our BPM to 90, because that seems like where I usually like to live. And we're going to set the BPM on the office to 90. And what we can do is just record some various loops here, and then see which one we want later. So we'll let this loop a couple of times, and then we'll change the loop. Right, that one's insane. So those are all the pre-programmed loops uh, in the office. All right, so we're going to listen back and then pick which one of these loops we like. We're going to duplicate that one and then we're going to make another beat so we can take one of these other ones. We wanted to start on that little boom, the little low note. All right, let's say that those are our beats, okay? And we'll start on this one. And let's, I don't think a piano will probably mesh with this, but let's see. So that's a C sharp. This feels like a tango. And that's, so it's F, F sharp and C sharp. It's like a couple cents flat. So then we can like go like... Okay, so it's feeling kind of tango-y. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just record some MIDI along with this and see how we do. So then you start to just start singing along to your own crap. The beauty about MIDI is that it's just little computer impulses. So we're not married to this instrument even. We could say flip it over to a funky organ. Alright, we don't love the organ. One thing I really like lately is um, this uh, string ensemble pizzicato. Okay, so due in probably no small part to the fact that we're recording while doing this, um, we've got a little bit of latency on our on our MIDI instrument here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do instead of trying to quantize, I'm just going to manually fix some of the timing on these. So these are slightly late. Okay, so this this D flat, this note in this D flat here is not hitting. That's slightly flat. So basically, making a song comes down to listening to something over and over and over again sometimes. Okay, so let's see what happens if we mess with this um, beat a little bit like throw it through a delay I like this one things get really weird that could be a good B section all right so we've got we've got this weird thing going on what can we add to it let's see Ableton 10 has this new synth called a wavetable and we could try this out. 
synth rhythmic. Let's try synth rhythmic. Okay, so that adds a kind of interesting counter rhythm. Let's try it. <laughs> All right, well that's weird. Wavetable, I still don't fully know what is going on with that one. So we're gonna quantize that to the current grid. Alright, so this is a cool kind of like weird thing, but what, I, what I'm feeling like is maybe we want to run this thing through Cloud Seed, which is a um, free plugin that is sort of like the Eventide uh, Black Hole uh, reverb delay, I mean. That's kind of crazy, huh? Whoa. So that makes it like some kind of like Blade Runner pad kind of synth. Let's leave it there for a minute and see what we feel. Normally what I do when I'm making a song is I put together something like this that's like a bass. Not not bass in the sense of like boom boom boom, but bass is in like the sense of something to build from. And then I'll start trying to come up with some kind of vocal line, a melody, because singing is my like main strength, I would say, as a musician. Um, so I kind of try to lean on that because I'm not that great at playing instruments. So yeah, let's think here. The... What is that? Blink-182 or Lit or something? <laughs> so I don't like that. So I'm just gonna start recording some kind of singing we can even use it as a layering thing or whatever. Save really quick. Woo! All right, so we're peeking a little here. We'll we'll deal with that in mixing later. I'm not the best at mixing and mastering. You may be able to tell from my output, but I'm learning. I got some cool uh, Isotope plugins to help me. Okay, let's throw Cloud Seed on this too because I like it. Go for broke here. Okay, so we want those to start at the same time and be the same length. So the nice thing about starting things off in this kind of um, loop, now I've forgotten the actual name of this, but the, the kind of loop based instead of the arrangement mode, because later on when we're laying the song down we'll do arrangement mode, but now we're in these track modes. Um, Oh, the nice thing is you can see the lengths of the clips and everything, and you can line stuff up. And you can see our uh, CPU load is getting a little heavier here with all these effects and with the record and everything going, but... Not bad, not great. That part's nice. It sounds a little like a song I made before, though, called Forest. So I don't like that part. Nah, I'm just gonna re-record the high one. So what the hell is this song about? I don't know. Uh, right now we just got some like cool sounding pads and stuff happening. Like I love that low crazy horn thing that happened. Lennis Moore set in here. 
Doug, you don't want to make a song that's another song, generally. So, realizing that Doug fits into this isn't great. Let's, uh, when in doubt, like, brainstorm a little more. So this will happen sometimes where you've, like, got something you like, but you don't know where you're gonna go from there. And then you just kind of brainstorm it out. So what else fits into this? B and B flat. A flat. So I've gotten an idea, I don't know if I like it even, but we're gonna put it down just so that we can have it. So I'm hitting record on my APC here. So I got this weird little thing that I just did that I imagine will become a synth in a minute, but uh, let's see, where did we start getting it right? We're gonna run there. I'm gonna put that on. What does this sound like? This is such a weird song. Uh, let's try putting some other kind of sound on this thing, though. Let's try... Uh, we've got the, uh, this thing that sounds like a, um, a Juno. That one lags a little, that beat there, doesn't it? Okay, what if we don't do a synth, but we do marimba? Alright, so now we need to think of some kind of words for this thing. What are we gonna do? It's a bizarre song. That melodic line makes it feel like a Jimmy Buffett song or whatever. I don't like it. Goodbye. I keep almost having a thought. Sometimes you can just sing like nonsense to try to figure out the melody before you have a word. The words, you know. Yeah, let's throw in some overtone singing just to make it weird while we're thinking about it. Delay effect just makes everything sound so cool! Ooh, I have like a portis head kind of vibe suddenly. So everything else is really long, kind of. So maybe we should do a quicker lead vocal to kind of offset that, you know? So if gibberish isn't working, maybe the words will die us. So let's see what we can come up with. Video games. pressure to write a song while you're filming yourself. Sure, whatever. 
I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire lately, so I guess this song is about cards. Draw your cards, lay your hand. You've been dealt a raw deal again. Music for easy update stuff generally pretty positive, pretty uh, encouraging, I guess. Which is interesting because my stuff in my youth was all real depressing. <laughs> We've got the beginning of our song, so now we're gonna switch to arrangement mode. Things get real crazy. So now we're in arrangement view, we click on that. Alright, so that's already a minute of song almost. So now let's make it shift into something else. So remember before when we tried that crazy delay on this drum and it sounded kind of fun? I don't know if this makes any sense at all. Okay, so that seems a little nuts for the next thing. Alright, well, I'm not sure what we want to do next, but I do know I want to do a little harmony for this, so... similar theming to other songs that I've done, but so we really need to fix that D flat on that if we're going to do that. What if we just let things get really bizarre for a minute? Don't let go. She's going to get a bit of bonkers. Oh, that's why they're all late, because they're all late. Curious to see what would happen if we did throw cloud seed on these. Actually, wait, we could try. I've never done this because it's a new feature. I don't know how this works. How do you group? Huh. Yeah, and then we could throw cloud seed on this whole group, I think. Yeah. Say a little processor power. That times out really well with that low thing. Alright, so normally in songwriting you have an A section, a B section, a C section, but for the purposes of this video today, um, we'll just kind of, I think that covers a lot of the general uh, mood and uh, ideas behind the way I approach these easy update songs. Um, and a lot of them are kind of just one, one or two minute songs anyway. So I hope this gives you a general idea of kind of how I approach song making. Um, at least certainly in the easy update style. Uh, when I'm making songs, well, I mean, if I'm honest, like, there's a freedom to the easy, to easy update in song making because I don't worry about the song being like the most beautiful, perfect, like work of art ever created by human hands, you know, <laughs> like there's, I'm free from that kind of pressure a little bit, um, that I put on myself. And I think we all put on ourselves when we're creating music and art and things, uh, you know, so like, because I've been wanting to do like a solo music project for a really long time, but like everything I make doesn't feel up to snuff, you know? It doesn't feel like I've achieved things at the level that I want to. Whereas, you know, 
just in this kind of like pseudo tutorial kind of mood video that we just made here, um, you know, we made some fun melodies, we've played around with some cool effects, and then we came out of it with a neat sounding little melody, and, uh, you know, it's not perfect, and it's certainly not finished. I think that uh, for now that, that sort of hopefully is a little illuminating. So let's see here. Um, let's have it end. We just need it to finish, you know, we need to have an ending. Um, I might have this come in a little earlier because there's a little dead air here, but, uh, you know, it's more of kind of like a mood board that we're making here than a song. Um, so one thing I do want to do is uh, try and just do a little bit of, and this I'm still learning, I just got these plugins, so I don't fully know what I'm doing, but, uh, oh, there are new versions, oh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's see. So this is the Neutron Elements plugin. It's very cool. You put it on and it mixes, it like makes your vocal track sound better, generally. Sometimes it crunches it. Yeah, so I do want these to come in earlier. Cool, so now, uh, one thing I like to do, which maybe isn't even the right way to do it, I like to throw Ozone, which is a mastering plugin at the very end on uh, on our master track. It says, here's a suggest to get you started, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I just let it go. All right, that D flat is still wrong. So before we continue, now we can actually, while we're listening back, throw Melodyne on our drums. Okay, so that that little guy, that D flat, is not really a D flat. It's a little flat, 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 D flat, flat. So now it's going to listen through. All right, so yeah, it's got all these things that are like not quite D flats. Pitch center, yay. Yeah, so that made that sound better. So things are things are sounding gnarly crunched in there. So probably we don't need that. And again, I'm still learning with these isotope plugins. So I'm probably not doing this right. That sounds better. That sounds like it's not crunching as much. All right. So now, let's just give it a listen. So I sort of want this last maybe to hit earlier. So um, I'm trying to think the easiest way to do that might just be to do that. Let's listen to it. Yeah, I mean, so that sounds like a cool beginning to a song, but for the purposes of this episode, I think that's a fun way to look at a kind of a method of songwriting. Certainly not the method of songwriting, not even the only method that I employ, but I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you found this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, <laughs> or whatever. I think it's a nice little song, or beginning of a song, or whatever. Anyway, I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. Good night and good song.